Hey legends, ever wondered what kind of beast you need to run Unreal Engine 5 like a dream? Whether you're diving into game development, virtual production or any other epic project with Unreal, we've got you covered. Spoiler alert, it's not just about the most expensive gear. Today we're going to break down the ultimate guide for building an Unreal workstation that transforms your digital visions into reality. From killer CPUs to blazing fast GPUs, optimum RAM and storage, we have got it all covered. Oh, and if you are a professional and you use this application as your daily, then be sure to drop comments below on what works best for you and any top tips you have, because at the end of the day, we're all here to learn and get better. So onwards to the ultimate Unreal Engine 5 workstation guide for 2024. I'm Craig Hume, Managing Director at Utopia Computers, and we're not just any system builder, we're an award-winning team from Scotland, crafting incredible computers for all your needs. For over two decades, we have been at the cutting edge of computer technology. Proudly, we've been voted the UK's best system builder five times, and that's almost 30 years of innovation, excellence, and some seriously amazing tech. Here on this channel, we share insider tips on everything related to technology, drawing from our rich experience from building top tier computers like the one behind me. Plus, we give you a peek into the lessons learned from running a successful business all these years. If you think that sounds like your sort of channel, then think of us like your outsourced IT support. We are simply here to make tech simple and work for you. If you find value in this video, please hit the subscribe button. Your support means the world to us and enable us to keep delivering this top-notch content for free. In this video, we are going to cover the best GPU, the best CPU, the optimum amount of RAM, what storage you might need, as well as other considerations like cases and cooling. For each section, I'm going to share good, better and best specs. Think of these aimed at three levels of Unreal Engine 5 users. Good is for learners on a budget, better is for serious users balancing performance and price, and best, well, that's for the professionals who need absolute powerhouses. These personas are based on real clients that Utopia has helped recently. So without further ado, let's dive into the best GPU for Unreal Engine. The best GPU for Unreal Engine 5. All right, kicking things off with the GPU, the heart and soul of your Unreal Engine setup. Think of it as your engine in a race car. Without a strong GPU, you are going nowhere fast. The GPU handles rendering and graphics related tasks, generating and displaying the visuals, including textures, visual effects and lighting. Its parallel processing capabilities enable it to handle complex calculations for super realistic graphics. Unreal also supports advanced rendering techniques like ray tracing, which enhance visual quality by simulating light interactions. The GPU performs performance sorry, directly impacts the visual, visual fidelity and overall performance. It is the most important component of your workstation. When choosing a graphics card for Unreal, consider these factors. Graphics memory or VRAM. Unreal Engine 5 can utilize as much VRAM as you can have. A minimum eight gigabytes is advised, but 16 gigabytes is more ideal. Cards like the RTX 4090 with 24 gigabytes are of course amazing. Clock speed. Now this is the base and boost clock speed that we're looking at, measured in megahertz. Higher numbers mean faster performance. If you get a card with enough RAM, we tend to find the other specs usually fall into place. Now for our good system, we're going to talk about the RTX 4060. With 8GB of VRAM, this GPU offers the best value at the moment. The 3060 can compete, but it's not much cheaper than the 4060 these days, so that tends to be where we look at. For the better specs, look at the NVIDIA GeForce RTX 4090 with 24 gigabytes of VRAM. It's got stellar performance, the 4090 is perfect for game development and virtual production, as well as architectural visualization. It's great for developing VR content and is suitable for workstations with multiple 4K displays. Now, for the professional use for best, we're gonna be recommending the RTX 6000. Um, it's got 48 gigabytes of VRAM. It's NVIDIA's professional graphics line. It's gonna let you sync multiple systems, video walls, and even certain cameras. This is gonna be essential for virtual production workflows. Note, this card is super loud. So it's not an ideal for a desktop if your workstation sits like right beside you, uh, but it is a powerhouse. Now, 
onto the best CPU for Unreal Engine 5. All right, so what do we need for the best CPU? Well, think of it as the brain of your Unreal Engine setup. It's the master conductor of your sympathy. Without a powerful CPU, your system just won't be able to keep up with the complex demands of Unreal Engine 5. The CPU handles data processing, command execution, and the heavy lifting tasks like compiling code and rendering. Now, Unreal Engine 5 is demanding, requiring a strong CPU to ensure smooth performance and rapid data processing. A high-end processor is going to be crucial for rendering realistic visuals and maintaining smooth playback while you build your scenes out. Now, when choosing a CPU for Unreal, we want to consider these factors. Clock speed versus the number of cores. You see, both are important. Higher clock means, speed means smoother playback. Higher FPS, well, navigating and building scenes, etc. But more cores is going to be essential for rendering and compiling tasks. Then you've got Intel versus AMD. Both brands offer excellent options. But your choice depends on your specific needs and your budget. For our good system, we are going to go with the AMD Ryzen 7 7800X 3D. It's got eight cores, 16 threads, and runs at four and a half gigahertz. This CPU is a bargain powerhouse, and it's perfect for game development, and more than capable for most Unreal Engine 5 tasks. Now for our better system, we're gonna be looking at the Intel Core i7-14700K. It's a bit of a monster at 5.6 gigahertz with 20 cores. This CPU balances performance and price beautifully. Now for our best system, we're gonna be looking at the Intel i9-14900K. This beast boots boasts a 6 GHz clock speed, 24 cores, making it the best CPU for pro Unreal Engine 5 users. It ranks near the top of all gaming benchmarks, ensuring peak performance for demanding tasks. The Core i9-14900KS is slightly faster, but it's not worth the nearly 20% price increase. Now, for those needing the absolute best in rendering and compiling, there are CPUs like AMD's Threadripper Pro 7995WX with its insane 96 cores and 192 threads. It is simply unmatched. It's a premium option, and although it will tear through the toughest of tasks effortlessly, uh, a more reasonable but still staggering alternative to that chip would be the Threadripper Pro 7980X, which still offers excellent performance at around half the price. So why is a high-end processor essential for Unreal Engine 5? Well, the CPU determines how quickly your computer can process and execute commands. Unreal Engine 5 is highly demanding, and a powerful CPU ensures you're going to get smooth playback and interaction while building your scenes. It's essential for rendering realistic visuals and maintaining high performance. Now, sometimes we get asked, should I buy an Intel Xeon for Unreal? The truth is, probably not. Xeon processors are reliable for 24-7 operation and they support things like ECC memory, but they come at a high cost and usually they don't bring enough significant benefits for Unreal, so we'll stick to high-end consumer processors like the Core i9 or Ryzen 9 range for the best balance of performance and cost. For most power users, the Intel Core i9-14900K is best, scoring well in Unreal benchmarks. If you need the best performance as well as heavily threaded tasks, then consider AMD's Threadripper chips. Depending on your budget and performance needs, these CPUs, as mentioned before, are substantially more expensive and are not ideal for users who spend a lot of time rendering and compiling. Now, what is the best RAM for Unreal Engine 5? All right, let's talk about RAM, the unsung hero of your Unreal Engine setup. Think of RAM as your workspace. The bigger it is, the more projects you can juggle without breaking a sweat. Enough RAM in your system not without enough RAM, your system will slow down, making even the simplest tasks feel like a bit of a slog. So why does RAM matter? RAM determines how much data your computer can handle simultaneously. For Unreal Engine 5, which uses film quality textures, photo real lighting setups, having ample RAM is crucial for peak performance. So what's our general recommendations? Well, for a basic system, 32 gigabytes of RAM is the sweet spot for most users. It's enough to handle Unreal Editor and other applications running alongside it. For best, we're gonna go for 64 gigabytes of RAM. If you're building lighting that takes hours, you're gonna need as much RAM as possible to keep things running smoothly. Now, for our pro users, we're gonna be going up to 128 gigabytes or even potentially more RAM. These are for power users dealing with heavy scenes, demanding workflows, and that amount of RAM can be a game changer. Now we also need to consider memory speed. Pay attention to the speed of your memory. Currently DDR5 is the fastest available. Ensure your RAM is compatible with your motherboard and CPU for maximum performance. 
with DDR5, this tip is more important than ever. Now moving on to the best storage for Unreal Engine 5. So let's talk about storage, the unsung hero that keeps your Unreal Engine projects running smoothly. Think of storage as the foundation for your digital workspace. Without the right setup, even the most powerful CPU and RAM will not save you from bottlenecks. Unreal Engine 5 demands high speed storage to handle its large textures, assets and project files efficiently. So here's the lowdown on what we recommend. Storage drives are where all your data lives. The operating system, applications, project files and even backups. Fast storage ensures quick load times and smooth performance, as well as super efficient workflows. Unlike the other categories, I've not listed good, better, best here. In short, buy the best drives you can afford with the most storage. Project files, textures, etc. can be huge. So buy larger and faster um, if you're not on a massive budget. But if you are even on the lowest of budgets, don't opt for mechanical drives for programs or live projects. It will grind everything to a halt. Now, let's cover the different types of storage you could consider. SSDs. These are a must-have for your primary drive containing the operating system, the programs and installations. SSDs are faster than traditional hard drives, significantly speeding up boot times and application launches. PCIe M.2 NVMe SSDs. Now these drives are faster. They use a PCI Express connection and they make them several times faster than the aforementioned SSDs. These are ideal for your operating system and applications and perfect for those large projects that need that quick access. Now of course, like we said before, there is also traditional platter hard drives. These are slower, but they are more affordable and they are available in simply huge capacities. They are great for long-term storage and backups, but again, they are not recommended for you to run active project files from. So on to our general recommendations. Primary drive, we're gonna be looking at an SSD, maybe an M.2 NVMe, at least 500 gigabytes, but ideally one terabyte to eight terabytes, depending on the project sizes. For your secondary drive, we're gonna be looking at another SSD or NVMe. And again, we're gonna be looking at two terabytes to eight terabytes for that drive. Now your optional storage drive would be a platter drive. We're gonna be using that for maybe long-term storage, archival storage of projects we're no longer working on. Well, for that, you could choose eight terabyte to 12 terabyte or even more. Whenever I mention data, it's always, always critical and important and critically important that I also mention the backups of your data. Even brand new drives can fail or data can be overwritten. There are simple solutions like an additional mechanical drive or a network attached storage, sometimes called a NAS, and there's even cloud storage out there. Now, other components, cases, power supplies, Thunderbolt. For cases and cooling, choose a case that offers enough good airflow and enough space for all your components. Don't skimp on cooling, your PC will thank you. Proper ventilation, high quality fans and even liquid cooling solutions are essential to keep your system running smoothly and prevent overheating during those intense work sessions. A reliable power supply is also crucial. Ensure it has enough wattage to support all your chosen components with enough headroom for future upgrades. Look for power supplies with high efficiency ratings. 80 plus gold or platinum is ideal to ensure stable power delivery and energy efficiency. Now, if you're working with external devices, consider motherboards with Thunderbolt for super fast and versatile connectivity. Thunderbolt ports enable high speed data transfer, daisy chaining of multiple devices and connecting to high resolution displays, making them a valuable addition to any modern workstation. So there you have it. Building the ultimate PC for Unreal Engine 5 does not mean you have to break the bank. Focus on the GPU, CPU and RAM and you'll be set for most projects. Remember, a balanced setup tailored to your specific needs and you will get the best performance without overspending. Please don't forget to like, subscribe and hit the bell for more tech tips and tricks. Got questions or tips of your own? Drop them in the comments below. We're all here to learn. Until next time, happy creating.